Hello everyone, in this lesson we are going to practice organizing data or data into categories. So let's start by using our tally charts. We are familiar, sorry, we're familiar with the tally marks that we will be using. And let's just have a friendly reminder that we can count one, two, three, four, and then when we get to five, we're gonna cross it, just like that. One, two, three, four, and then we cross it. That's how you use the tally marks. In this case, you see that there are 20, we're going to count 5, 10, 15, 20. We're going to practice, practice counting by fives. Um, let's use the tally marks to count how many socks we see here. So we have, in this case, for the green socks, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you see we already have the 6 in this case. Now, um, just a reminder. Um, you have a four and then you cross out that makes five and then one more six. Now let's look at the orange. How many socks do we see? One, two, three, four, five. So let's let's do five. One, two, three, four, and then let's remember that we crossed the five. So that's five. Then let's look at the blue. How many we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four five, six, seven. Right, so now let's answer some questions using the data that we have collected. Which color sock has the most tally marks? So just by looking at it, we see that this one has six, this one has five, and this one has seven. So it would be the blue, the blue socks. So blue socks would have the most. Now try to do this one on your own. How many blue socks are there? Let's count the tally marks. Pause the video and try it on your own. Now, yes, um, there's five, six, seven. How many blue socks are there? Seven socks. Let's always write our unit. All right, I hope this video was helpful.